It's 4.15 in the morning and my mind is wandering off like a dog in a cornfield. I wanted to call you tonight. I've wanted to call you every night for the last nine years. I have an old cell phone at our house that I refuse to get rid of. It has an audio recording of your voice on it. For nine years, nine years, nine fucking years, I have been too scared to listen to it, but I take comfort in knowing that it's still there. You know, it's nights like these where I think about the little things, like how you would always tuck the blanket under my toes so no monsters could creep inside, or how you would let me stay up and watch Monday Night Raw. You would sit there with me even though you hated wrestling with a passion. You would look at me smiling, happy, and you would put up with it. Or even those corny jokes you would scribble onto my napkins with my lunch in grade school. I would read them, and I would cringe, and then I would smile. And in the school days, that was important. I think about the time when you told me you couldn't wait to be a grandmother one day and how you just knew I would be an amazing father and you can't wait to see me hold my child. I think, I think, I think. That's all I do it for in the morning is think. I know I don't go to your gravesite as much as I should. The less I have to look at it means the less reminders that all of this is still real. Sometimes I just avoid things in the hopes that they will go away. I avoid the pain. I avoid the sadness. I avoid the silence. I just avoid, I avoid, I avoid. I wish I wasn't that way. But I am. The other day I was out to lunch and I heard a woman laughing and it sounded just like your laugh. You had the loudest, most obnoxious laugh of anyone I ever knew. Sure, it was embarrassing at times, but I loved every second of it. It was like a cackle that was so infectious it would cause strangers around you to want to join in on your happiness and excitement. Oh, the things I would do to hear that laugh again. Especially right now. I'm feeling down, unsure of myself, scared of life. That laugh would do more for me right now than any medicine or any doctor or any treatment that exists. I remember being 14, telling you that one day I was going to buy you a house. And you told me you didn't need money or a house, or a car, you just wanted my time. At the time, that seemed so silly to me. You want my time? Who wouldn't want a house? A house is awesome. I was so young and simple-minded, but now I understand. Time is so valuable. I'm sorry I didn't give you as much time as you deserved before you died. To this day, I stay up thinking about time. It messes with me. Daily. Every second that goes by on that clock reminds me of seconds that I wasted not being there for you. I was 16 years old too focused on trying to be cool with my friends rather than making sure you were okay. I just never knew that any of this would happen. See, I built a wall as high as the moon around my mind to block out the reality. I just never knew any of this would really happen. And I'm so sorry. You know, Sometimes you never understand how real a situation is until it's over. Perspective is everything. 
It's like until you're left sitting there on the ground broken. You just don't realize it. Broken. Like a toy without batteries. Like a car without an engine. Like a dog without an owner. Just broken. But even though I am broken at times, I always find comfort in your love. So you loved me so unconditionally that it has spilled over years after you left. You love me so much that even to this day, I can feel the warmth of your hugs. You love me so much that when I look at certain animals outside my window, I think of you. You love me so much, and I'm so thankful for that. I'm so thankful for all that you did for me, for my family, the sacrifices you made, the things that you did to make me the happiest boy. I just wanted to write this to let you know that I am happy. I know there isn't a mailbox up in heaven but I wanted to put this out there into the universe just so you can hear it. I don't talk to you as much as I should. I don't pray as much as I should. Like I said, I avoid a lot. But I am happy. And I will always be happy. And that is because of you. Thank you. I love you.